Hi guys, this is Jessica Galloway, Director of First Impressions at the Titusville Area of Chamber of Commerce. And I am going to do a quick little tutorial today on social profile URLs. This one's going to be focused on Twitter. Um, she's going to be pretty simple today because the benefit of Twitter is your username that you set up is going to be, uh, when you first set up your account, is going to be your URL. Um, your at name. So this is your home page. Um, I got to my account by clicking on my little face right here um, and it shows JM Galloway at JM Galloway is my URL. So if I decided that I wanted to change that I could go to more and settings and privacy. Um, the first tab that it brings up is, uh, you know, it shows right here at JM Galloway account username. So if I wanted to change this back to J E S S I C A G A L L O W A Y, um, it looks like that's already been taken. I definitely don't want to change it. Um, I recommend uh, maybe changing, uh, adding FL, adding you know, the 85 or something, you know, the last digits. Um, you do have a limit on characters. It has to be shorter than 15, and I believe it has to be more than four. So I'm not going to change my username. Um, I'm going to make sure that mine is the same, but I went through the process recently of changing the Titusville Chambers page. So we... Um, Unfortunately, there is another Titusville in Pennsylvania, so I changed it to T-I-T-U-S-V-I-L-L-E-F-L-C-O-C. -L -L -E um, got some information on here, the official Twitter account for the Titusville Chamber of Commerce. Um, I do believe also we have a launch from here. And go to at launch from here. Uh, I can't spell. Uh, <laughs> launch from here. This is our uh, Titusville Launch From Here campaign and so that URL is at Launch From Here. Um, they are the same because there's no distinction between a business and a, uh, prof a personal profile. So that URL up there is going to be twitter.com slash launch from here. That's your at mention. So the benefit of that is going to be that I can, as the chamber, uh, tag you easily at Titusville FLCOC. So that tags the chamber right in a comment at launch. I can't spell today. Wow. Launch from here. And that tags the chamber. Um, so I would press tweet. If I did that, that would show up. Your tweet was sent, view. Um, so I click on that, it goes directly to the chamber page. I click on the launch from here, it goes directly to the launch from here page. So the benefit of that is that we can tag your business on Twitter, mention you in our posts, and make sure that uh, everybody's tagged. I believe that we've got a few tags. Uh, we, we, we use hashtags mostly on the uh, Launch From Here campaign, but on the uh, on the Titusville Chamber, I've got a couple of examples where we uh, mentioned our new chamber members. Um, right here, Titusville Area Chamber of Commerce, this was Direct Auto Insurance. So they are at Direct Auto INS. That takes you directly to twitter.com slash direct auto insurance, INS, and that's their URL, that's their domain name. So whatever your username on Twitter is what your URL is. So uh, that's how we do it, and that's the benefit of having that uh, so we can find you, so we can mention you, so we should, can tag you in those posts. If you need a walkthrough on making these changes, I'd be more than happy to uh, answer your calls, give you a rundown through the email. You should be able to follow along with this video pretty easy. Twitter's pretty much an easy one to do. Not as easy as Instagram, but the next easiest for sure. Um, However, if you do need a walkthrough, I'd be more than happy to uh, take you through the steps and uh, help you pick a good URL, uh, a good username for your business. If you have any questions, just uh, give me a call, shoot me an email, 
and uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks!